Lakers here. I mean, the summer's here. Summer's time. School is out, and players are fiending as we've got Steelix and Vivi for our other side of winner's semis. Winner will go on to play Mr. John Numbers in winner's finals, but first we got to go through each other. It's going to be really exciting. Obviously, I've been seeing she looks been making a lot of moves out here lately. Obviously, already going through a beating Dill after losing to Dill, her last time, getting into a winner's semis against uh, Vivi, which is actually very exciting. This matchup is actually pretty weird, obviously. I mean, you have Hero with the sword versus Falco. The space you doesn't like swords. So, it, it, yeah, it's it, somewhat self explanatory, but I, I don't know. It's weird. It's Hero. You never know what's going to go on with this character. Hero definitely has plenty of that randomness going on, quite literally built into his kit. But the problem lies in the fact that Hero, without Accelerado, and it's part of what makes the spell so important to his kit, is that you have to play this really, really keen positioning game. But that's where things like spells can come into play. Uh, the Sizz, Sizzle, and Bang all come out frame six, I believe. So six, they can damn. they can be right in your face extremely quickly in this week. And those horizontal angles are where Falco loves to recover. As we see Vivi really playing this like stage control based game, using um, these big aerials in combination with an anti-air jab to try and, and as well as plenty of side B zapple to cover all of this space and to not let Steelix just approach him recklessly with things like grabs or phantasms. And now with Accelerado online, that'll make it even harder for Vivi to truly uh, to be caught by any Ooh, one of these starters. My that God. back, that back, you're killed. Good lord. As you're saying, Accelerado 2 immediately dying to the back at like 84%, I think it was. Oh my god. No, but like you were saying, like it's insane how this matchup is so volatile depending on like what kind of spells you can pull out, right? Like Falco usually can rely on this reflector to deal with a lot of different projectiles. It plays like it's literally like the disjoint uh, reflector to kind of play the game for him. Right. But like, what happens when you don't know what projectile is coming out next at you? So like, you can't. Uh, you have to like guess with your reflector. You have to like hope, pray to God that when you run and you don't get hit with like a oh, you don't get something like that. Wow. Big down air. Seal is obviously down two stocks to one. But I mean, this is Falco. As long as uh, Vivi doesn't pull out some crazy like magic burst or something right now, or Accelerado, this is not going to be good. Oh. Yeah. Accelerado choosing to not go for the buff and tra instead trying to conserve mana for maybe some high roll spells or the uh, the frequent use of Zapple, like so, which does chunk out your mana gauge pretty quickly. Constant access to, uh, to bounce is always going to be a bet. Uh, Benevolent force, but you've got to watch out for some of these Falco combos. I think you were hit the nail on the head earlier, Momo. It's just, it's so swingy, dependent on partially of what comes up on the menu, but partially just who is if Falco is able to find your starters. And being put in disadvantage oh, as hero is yeah. so terrible. But when a you're able to maintain stage and find the right spells at the right time, like that Accelerado into Psych Up, mm -hmm. which to be fair are some pretty high percentage spells, you can get back to stage for free, get to the ground real quick, uh -huh. and then have access to Psych Up Up Tilt, which is way better than any Smash hero has. That is like... Hero up tilt is a smash attack. Yeah, like it, people it, say that Wario F tilt is a smash attack. Hero up tilt is a smash attack. It, it's not even like an up tilt. Uh, it's not even like an up smash. It's like a nair smash where it just hits stupid to the left, to the right, to the up. It's like Rano up smash, but with like better. If you will excuse the rival reference. I mean, no, I got it definitely. Oh, yeah. I'll make it. Okay. Hopefully, I think uh, Steelix definitely going to have to take a look at himself this game. I can say, like, hey, I think I've been giving... Oh, my God. This is, I was going to say, Steelix has to play a little bit more aggressive here, but that's what happens when you just run into Hero. You get Kaboom and take 35 right in the face. But you can deal 61 straight back. Sorry for the excitement. I have just received some amazing news. Ooh. <laughs> the crayons. The crayons are here. Yes. Munch. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Thank you, Aki. I'm playing through Persona 3 again. It's such a fun game. Uh, hard, though, just like playing against Falco can be, because if you find oh, yourself no. in disadvantage without Accelerado, things get dangerous quickly. But as mentioned, it can be a pretty high percentage spell, so you always have at very least a good chance to get there, missing the dash grab, but not choosing to engage oh further. The fear factor that Vivi is putting in oh, Steelix yeah. with this character is just so insane. Like, literally, just sat, Steelix just sat up for like a good 10 seconds holding shit like, yo, what spell am I about to get hit with next? It, it, when it's accelerated on the screen, anything can happen. Like, just look at this. Like, Steelix has oh, no idea what's going on right now. Look at the movement. And Steelix is, uh, if there's anything I can say about Steelix, is that they like to approach from a very head-on perspective. Mm -hmm. Lots of Phantasm, lots of straight dashes in in order to try oh. and find, yeah, fast falling a little bit too low. 
but you got to find different ways to approach here. Uh, sometimes walking up with up tilt when you have the invincibility from the uh, Hage or platform. Oh, definitely a huge boon, and it's going to result in the stock as well, taking away not just Psyche, but also oomph from Hero. Mm -hmm. Very, I mean, obviously, Fal the thing about Falco, too, is that, like, if Falco's able to get... Oh, my God. Like, that's... I was going to say get into for Hero's face and do a combo, but, like, you can't really do that when you have a bounce online. Yeah, all that hit stuff so from the throw is from the laser. So <laughs> you're just, you're, the BB just got out of that. Uh, Literally, oh, there's there's options on the menu that say like Falco just doesn't exist anymore. Your combos are not real. If I if I sit here and accept my uh, my bounce and just put hide under my blanket, that nothing can happen. I'll stay safe from the burn. Oh you know, my there's god! That, there's that uh, nup smash, I guess. The nup smash. That's what we're calling it. The, 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 that's what I'm calling it. It's head cannon. Yep. Oh my here god. It is. Okay, no bounce online, so he's gonna get a nice little combo here. Oh, that was a case off of the down air. I think you get 77 percent. Obviously, if you can find some kind of qu uh, quirky little uh, kill at some low-ish percent here, we could uh, take. We could still be in this, but just like, oh my god, the Christmas lights are out once again. This is so bad. Check out the damage. That oh is no! Gonna come out, choosing to go oh. for the high forward air instead of chasing with a down air instead. Oh. Vivi looking for hat oh my god. up hatchet man would have exploded. And Vivi, I mean, he's up a stock. He's swinging oh. with some of oh these spells, and Whoosh comes in to save him. The frame four option uh, in order to quickly recover. Cover as he chooses to uh, lean into his stage control and go crazy with some of the menu, but be careful with that mana. But a block on she even just blocking Nedim about plus 10 there, able to always have access to Whoosh and having Accelerado is certainly hell of a boon. This back throw will oh. result in the potential edge guard unless on Zoom, Zoom comes no. online. You can't yeah. edge guard this character. Shut down from the edge guard and shut down from Ooh. so much advantage. Zoom again? Yeah, the Damn. closer you are to the bubble, the higher percent chance Zoom comes up on the menu. And Vivi is playing with it, uh, playing with some of these odds like he's in Vegas. Oh. Shout out to Double Down. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 that dash deck is on the other side of the stage. So he's not able to find that ledge trap there. He's chilling at 140%. Not really scared of losing the stock anytime soon because uh, Steelers has no real uh, kill confirm to go off of right now. We have the Z, the zoom right here. You can't find those up tilts or those up throw to up airs because you just the bounce is online. You have to have your 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 true Falco things. Oh my God! There's... There it is. That's what Vivi was looking for. He's looking Merry for Christmas. A... Good night. Looking for psych up because as those percentages, the uh, you have the mix up between psych up up tilt and psych up grab, which Shh. up throw kills. So once Vivi got psych up, it based basically for the next like 15 or so seconds. That's disgusting. For the like for the next yeah well psych up infinitely but with accelerado it gets super super dangerous. Um, you're playing a 50-50 mm -hmm. in neutral, in advantage, in disadvantage. You're playing this really weighty coin flip that's always in hero's favor, mm -hmm. and it's it's tough to play around. Which is why you want to be aggressive, but you also want to like be careful of some of hero's more uh, re crazier reversal options, like those zooms. It's so hard to play around just everything, and it really is a test of reaction. Did you see that? It was up tilt, sent up, psych up into a second up tilt. Yeah, you know, it's... Uh, like, look at this, look at this, look at this. Just spot dodge, up tilt, psych up, second up tilt. Just like, look, at, <laughs> look at the hitbox here as we go back and that, forth. Like, that's what I call coverage right there. Like, it is covering. Like, I'll even, we'll do Wait, the highlighter. Like, at? it there is covering all of that space. And Ste oh, wait. Oh, uh, as much around. as Steelix has a... Ew, I agree. Gross. <laughs> Disgusting. As much as Steelix has a really solid combo tree, as we saw multiple times in not only that game, but mm -hmm. also against the Dill, he's a really good flow chart, but his penchant to look for high percentage options, like Nair for edge guards or up airs instead of finishing with back airs a little bit more early, uh, they, that can lead to Hero having a chance to get a chance to look for spells. Mm -hmm. And getting one more chance to pull up an option of four means, oh, there's bounce again.